My name is Roy Williams and I'm the writer of Soul. It's a story I wanted to tell because um, I think, I was, I think I, as I researched it, I was surprised by Marvin Gaye, the life he led, and more importantly, his family. And I felt that was quite universal. There was a lot of assumptions I made about Marvin's death, and because I, I remember when the story broke, um, and I remember being shocked just to hear that it was his own father killing him. I found that very, very hard to comprehend, comprehend and understand how a father could do that to, to his own son. But um, when I sort of read up more, and also more important sisters, when they're telling me, it was very, it was a lot more complicated. It doesn't excuse what he did, of course it, of course it couldn't. But I did come away with a level of understanding of, well, of what was going on in his head and the reasons why he did what he did. The real life sisters of Marvin Gaye, Jean and Ziola Gaye, who I met, and they're in the play, they, uh, they're almost like, they're like the narr narrators. They take the audience on this journey, they take them back in time, and they cover sort of specific two periods of Marvin's life and their lives as well. And I thought it was really important to have them front and centre. Marvin Gaye means to me, I think it's a, I think it's a title place, soul. He has such an incredible soul, not just in music, but also as a person. I hope what people get out of the play, other than you know, a great night out, but a, a, just a level of understanding of, of a musician, of, of who he was inside as well as outside. Um, a notion of um, family, you know, of you know, you know, what it means to be in a family. Sometimes what it means to, you know, when you have someone in your family who's more, they'll say, you know, more famous and more celebrated than maybe the rest of you. What that does to family makeup.